Oh, hello! My name is Heraclitus and I will talk to you about pyramid properties. Since ancient times, people have been building monuments in the form of a pyramid. The graves of the kings of ancient Egypt had the form of the pyramid known to us today. At the entrance of the Louvre Museum in Paris, there is a modern pyramid designed in 1989 by the architect Joe P. But what is the geometrical definition of a pyramid? Well, a pyramid is a solid having a polygonal base and triangular sides that meet in a point. For example, the heptagon A, B, C, D, E, F, G is the base of this pyramid. And what are the other elements of the pyramid? The triangles with a common point K, KAB, KBC, KCD, KDE, KEF, KFG and KGA are called the side faces of the pyramid. The common point K of the adjacent seats is called the top of the pyramid. If we bring a vertical straight section from the top K to the base, then the KH is called the height of the pyramid. Here we see that the height of the pyramid may be outside the pyramid. A pyramid based on a triangle is called a triangular pyramid. However, because a triangular pyramid has four triangular faces and any face can be considered as a base, we also call it a tetrahedron. A pyramid that has a quadrilateral base is said to be quadrilateral. A pyramid that has a pentagon base is called pentagonal and so on. But when do we say that the pyramid is regular? A pyramid is called regular if its base is a regular polygon and the projection of its apex on the base is the center of the canonical polygon, as shown here. And how is the total area of the pyramid calculated? The total area of the pyramid consists of two parts. The area of its side face is called the lateral area and the area of its base. In an normal pyramid, the side faces are isosceles triangles and equal to each other. To calculate the lateral area EL of a pyramid, we calculate the area of its triangular side face and add the results. Therefore, in this case, we have... To calculate the total area ET of a pyramid, we add the area EB of the base to the lateral area EL. The isosceles triangles of the lateral area of the regular pyramid have equal bases and heights. Each of these heights is called the slant length of the regular pyramid. Let's calculate the area of the lateral surface of the regular hexagonal pyramid. However, the perimeter of the regular hexagon equals 6 times AB. Finally, we conclude that In order to find the total surface area of the regular pyramid, it is enough to add the area of the lateral surface to the area of the regular polygon which forms the base of the regular pyramid. And how do we calculate the volume of a pyramid? Well, we can calculate that through a small manufacturing game. Using cardboard, we make a prism and a pyramid so that they have equal heights and bases of equal triangles. If we fill the pyramid three times with flour and empty the flour into the prism, we will see that the prism is full. This is true in general terms. Therefore, the volume of the pyramid equals one-third of the prism's volume. The volume V of the pyramid equals... The same formula applies to the volume of a pyramid based on any polygon. Let's see an example. In the year 3000 BC, the ancient Egyptians built the Pyramid of Cheops, which has a square base of 233 square meters, a side edge of about 220 meters, slant length of 186.62 meters and a height of 146 meters. Let's calculate the area of the lateral surface of this pyramid. The area of the lateral surface is calculated by the formula. Let's calculate now the volume of the pyramid. The volume of the pyramid is calculated by the formula.